All right, so I don't know how many of you are keeping track of of the hearings uh, with Michael Cohen, as well as uh, uh, various uh, things that he has said. But one of the most alarming things he has said, which is something that I have been uh, I have been pushing. Uh, on my uh, on my channel uh, is that is that the system the uh, fascism system has been going for nearly fifty years for a push to have a fascist dictatorship in the country and I have been trying to warn people. That are uh, that believe themselves to be leftists, uh, that believe themselves to be progressive, uh, that believe themselves to be moderates, whether you call yourself a moderate uh, liberal or a moderate uh, uh, or a moderate uh, uh, conservative, or even a moderate Republican, I have been telling you, I have been stating this, without. Equivocal equivocation, without any uh, wording that could be taken in any other fashion than that there is a power grab to create a dictatorship, a Nazi-like dictatorship in the U.S. And this is something that's also going on in Europe and in the UK, and in Australia. Understand that what Michael Cohen said about, about Trump and what comments Trump himself has made during his tenure, along with comments that others in the administration and the Republican Party have stated, as well as what Demo uh, the supposed Democrats, the corporate Democrats, have said with uh, regards to policies, <coughs> such as uh, Nancy Pelosi, and uh, recently uh, with, uh, what's her name, uh, the, uh, the billionaire... Uh, which uh, who uh, basically uh, basically uh, uh, castigated and talked down to uh, children. Uh, I can't think of her name. I don't know why I keep blanking on her name. But I have been stating this over and over. They are complicitly working together. And whether uh, they are black, brown, or white, or Asian, if they are part of the establishment, that is what they are pushing. That is what they've been working on. Now, as far as the minorities go, they are uh, that of, of the establishment, they are sadly mistaken. If they believe in the fantasy that they will somehow share the power, they won't. Or they will even get a decent return. That is a fantasy. It is an illusion. It is a myth. The left, the moderates of any, you are li living in a fantasy. I have been stating this over and over and over again. Even the people that I respect, who I watch, who I listen to, who often give me insights into things I hadn't considered, in my conclusions of my observations, they also have a blind spot. They also believe in the unreality, the fantasy, that somehow, some way, the democracy that they believe 
this fantasy, this myth that fascism cannot possibly become a reality and that the, uh, and that some way in somehow in some factor a forceful revolution other than that that we can get uh, results I have stated over and over again there are other ways to do it but that those ways are gone those options are off the table. The, the, uh, uh, the peaceful avenues are gone. They are gone. There is no more options on the table. It's either bow down or get crushed. And that is what's going to happen. This fantasy belief that uh, somehow Tulsi Gabbard or Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren will somehow bring about uh, bring about uh, 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 the this this revolutionary change that we all uh, that we all would like to uh, so many of us would like to see. It's a fantasy, and I have tried to believe. That this fantasy might actually take place. But it won't. It won't. And talking about it. And hashing it out. Isn't going to work. As I said, those avenues are gone. I've stated ways that we could have been done. But we are now at the crux in time when that, those options are no longer viable. And I make this prediction. Trump and the establishment will not allow, will not allow Bernie Sanders, will not allow Tulsi Gabbard or Elizabeth Warren or anybody what, uh, and Elizabeth Warren is not a leftist. She is not. She's an opportunist. But and but she has irked the establishment enough that their acceptance of her is gone. Elizabeth Warren will not get into office. Bernie Sanders will not get into office. Tulsi Gabbard will not get into office. And Tulsi Gabbard will find herself at the barrel of a gun. She will be put, she will be arrested, put in jail, or killed outright. This is a promise. In 2020, Trump will remain and a full-blown coup in dict fascist dictatorship like that of Nazi Germany during World War II will rise. And the stormtroopers will be out to crush any who dissent. And that is my prediction.